Hey, I am John Barker, and in this episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, we're taking a look at how to connect a GoPro to an ATEM switcher or whatever device you want to connect it to. And these cool little cameras can be a little bit tricky to connect to um, production switchers. They're not really made for that kind of thing. Uh, they do have a clean HDMI feed out on the side, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're built for uh, prosumer or um, professional gear to work with that stuff. And getting a certain HDMI, HD signal out of these things can be a bit tricky. Um, I have the five, I've used the four before and the Hero 3, and all of them have given me problems with my ATEM switcher. But that was until I discovered this little device. It is a Dr. HDMI, it's called. Um, and basically, the problem is called EDID, where it's kind of like a handshake between the camera and whatever device you're displaying it on. Um, the camera itself wants to output something in particular. Your ATEM switcher wants to receive something in particular. And then a little device like this, um, it's pretty cheap on Amazon, you can pick up, and it will solve most of your problems for you. Um, it's got a bunch of saved banks in there where you can do things like tell it you want full HD, you want full HD, with 3D, you want a 720p, or in my case, I want 1080i, and that's been the problem this whole time. So just as a little walkthrough, I have my decimator here, um, I'm dragging in. Uh, I'll be referring to it a few times, but basically what I wanna show is uh, what signal's coming in. You can just pretend that the decimator is playing the part of my ATEM switcher for the purposes of this video, because that way I can show you what signal is coming in, and, um, how to fix the problems that you may have as well whenever you want to connect these GoPros. So, uh, if I just connect the GoPro as is to the decimator, and I'll use the HDMI input on the decimator and the HDMI output on the GoPro, and you've done this before, you plug it into your ATEM, you think you have it in the right mode on the GoPro, uh, 1080p 50 maybe, or 1080p 25, and you plug it into your ATEM and it's just not showing anything. So in this case, if I show you here, um, my decimator is showing 3GA 1080p 50 and the GoPro itself is set on 1080 uh, 25. So, and already there's something weird going on there. Um, the device is saying 1080 25. On the decimator, I can see that actually the HDMI is 1080p 50. So hard to troubleshoot whenever you don't know what's going on there. Um, but if I bring in this trusty little uh, Dr. HDMI device. So basically that just sits between the two. I take the HDMI out of the decimator, plug it into the bottom of the Dr. HDMI and the input, and it'll spring to life. It's powered by that HDMI port, and you can see all the lights, uh, the lights will come on in a second, and you choose which of the banks you want. In my case, I want 1080, uh, 1080i, which is number three, um, so I'll set it to number three. And then I just grab another HDMI cable, plug it in to the decimator. And I'm hoping that once I plug that in there, you can see now that it's actually bringing in 1080i50. So on a short HDMI run, that has actually just fixed my problem. It's uh, giving me well, exactly what I want, which is 1080i50. Now that's HDMI short run, easy to solve. But what if you want to get a little more complicated, just like I did, and bring in one of these, a HDMI to SDI converter. So, if I show you one more time, unplug the GoPro from the uh, Dr. HDMI, and I plug it into my decimator, just as a point of reference, um, you can see on the screen there that it's bringing in that uh, signal at three gig, 1080p 50, which is what it was doing a minute ago. That's okay. It's not exactly what I want, but that's okay. And then if I just extend that a little bit further and I put the GoPro into my HDMI to SDI converter and let that sync up, now I can see on my decimator that instead of 1080p 50, it's actually bringing in 1080p 25. So somewhere in along the way in this part of the equation, um, things are getting a little bit screwed up. Um, it's bringing that 1080p 50 signal and turning it into 1080p 25. So even more confusing, how do you solve these problems without a big 
scalar in the middle. Um, you could easily just buy a few more decimators, or I could buy a few more decimators, but they're just as expensive as the cameras, so you may as well just buy a different camera completely. Um, but what I wanted was this GoPro look, working with my switcher. So, again, cue the uh, Dr. HDMI to solve the problems. So if I just take this and unplug some things and plug it in between these two, so now I'm going from the GoPro into the Dr. HDMI, I've said that too many times, um, let it sync up and I'll hit that number three, 1080i50 setting and then if I plug that into the HDMI to SDI converter and let that sync into my decimator you can now see just about on the screen there that it's bringing in that 1080i50 signal um, which is nice which is exactly what I wanted so I hope that was clear for you basically if you're plugging in your GoPro to your ATEM switcher or to your production switcher and it's not coming up and you've tried troubleshooting a few things and you don't want to spend money on an expensive scaler to fix this problem, then the Dr. HDMI may well be the thing that you should check out. Um, it's a little bit weird to use. You have to plug in the source first, let it sync up, and then plug in the output one. That way you know that it'll work every time. If you do anything along the way, that's the best thing you can do is just unplug everything, plug in the source, and then plug in the output after that. Hopefully you found that useful and it solves some of your problems and uh, let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.